Hello, uh, my name is Dr Jonathan and I'm a GP and Chair of uh, NHS Vale Royal Clinical Commissioning Group. Uh, and I'd like to tell you a story uh, that happened to my wife earlier this week. So at the weekend she recognised that the car that she drives was running out of petrol. So on Monday she had got in her mind that she must go and fill up the car uh, before a journey she had to make on Monday evening. So she went off to the local petrol station and started to fill the car up. But the pump didn't appear to be working. Uh, it kept stopping and clicking and spitting petrol back out and she struggled, managed to get about five pounds worth in, which she knew wasn't right because the tank was empty. Um, and then went along to pay. And she went along to pay and she said, look, your pump isn't working. It just keeps on spitting the petrol out. What, what can you do? You must report this. So they apologised, uh, she paid, they wrote down the incident, they were going to get a chap to come and check the pump out. She went back out and she decided to drive around to another pump and just try again. This time she got three pounds in and ended up covered in diesel, it was all over her clothes, it was all over the floor, it was all over the side of the car. When she came to drive off away from the petrol station thinking, this is all a bit odd, why would two pumps not be working, she noticed that in fact she had a full tank of petrol. Uh, what she failed to realise was that on a Sunday, I'd spotted that there was no petrol in the car and filled it up for her. Now, as you can imagine, in our household, I thought that she should have spotted this, but she felt this was all my fault. And the point of the story is about communication. So if I'd communicated to my wife that I'd filled up her car with petrol, she would have been delighted, of course, and also this would never have happened. Communication is so important in all aspects of life, and none more so than in our clinical commissioning work. How will people know what we are doing as a CCG unless we tell them? Things such as the integrated neighbourhood teams we're trying to put in place across the patch, we're looking to bring people around our patients. So we've got general practitioners, we've got social services, we've got district nurses, mental health workers, community matrons, occupational therapists, all working for those individual patients. And that work which is ongoing now and soon will come to fruition, we hope. How will you know about initiatives like Snow Angels? out there to look after our vulnerable, frail, elderly people who need help, particularly in the cold weather, who need somebody to ring and speak to and someone to check that they are okay. How will people know about the great work that we're doing with the Red Cross, who are, as we speak, helping get people from their homes to hospital for appointments? How will you know about the great general practice initiatives that we've got in place? Initiatives which will see GPs being able to refer people for support, not just health support, not even social services support, but support being provided by some of our third sector colleagues. You will only know if we get our communication right. And that's communication with GPs, with the public, with the local authorities, with our local hospitals, with our mental health providers, with our community service providers, and with the staff of all of those organisations. And also through our health forum. So our Bearable Health Forum is there for people to talk about what the CCG is doing. And I would encourage you to get involved with this. Come along and have your say. Listen to what we are doing and say what you think about these things. You can find the dates and the venues for all of these Vale Rural Forum meetings on our website. And if you're not already on the website watching this video, I encourage you to go there now. And you can get there at valeroyalccg.nhs.uk. On the website you'll find all manner of information, uh, including news about what's happening with us, you'll find my blog on there, you'll find information about who is on our governing body, so you can see photographs of who we are and what we are about. You will find details of when our governing body meetings are being held, 
Our formal governing body meetings are all held in public, either in Winsford or in Northwich, and you are most welcome to come along to any of those meetings. The dates are on the website, along with all the papers and agendas and minutes of previous meetings. There are other events that we will be at. Uh, last year we went to the Nantwich show, for example. We went to Chester Pride. And there are other places that you can come along, find our store, come and have a chat. You can email us. Uh, email nhsvaleroyal.ccg at nhs.net with any queries that you may have and we can get back to you. You can follow us on Twitter at nhsvaleroyal.ccg and you can follow me on Twitter at Dr John Griffiths. Thank you for taking the time to sit and have a listen to me. If you want to know anything more about the CCG or contact me, go to that website or check us out on Twitter. Thank you.